burst of flavour. Hey, I'm Debbie Wong and I'm here at the iconic Wong Tai Sin Temple and I'm going to meet Michelin starred chef Shane Osborne and he's going to show me how he takes inspiration from Hong Kong's hidden gems. Hey! Hey Debbie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well. Well, this is my first time here. Have you been here before? My first time too. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm really keen to explore. Do you take inspiration from a lot of Hong Kong local spots? Oh, especially the wet markets. I mean, it's just full of fantastic seasonal produce. Well, speaking of inspiration, where are we going next? Well, I've heard there's a great vegetarian restaurant quite close called the Chi Lin Nunnery. Vegetarian food, let's check it out. Whenever I go out to eat local, I always love to eat the local brassicas, like the choy sam, the bok choy, su thong choy, yeah, and the gai lan, the morning glory, because there are so many great green vegetables available at the wet markets, and just simply boiled and then fried in garlic um, is just a great way to eat. So Chilin Nunnery is known for their vegetarian cuisine. Have you ever had it here before? No, I haven't. I'm really excited to see what they do with local vegetables. Hello, 我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我很喜歡這個東西。我
the food, the style, the products that we serve, and you just get to tell the story a little bit. We yeah. have a great connection with our diners. So what is most inspiring about cooking in Hong Kong? People here are very uh, inquisitive and willing to try anything that's new. So as a chef, if you want to do something a little bit off the wall, this is the right place to be. How did you come up with today's dish? Well, walking around the market today, you know, the first thing I saw was wawa choy, which is one of my favorite local vegetables. I just got some inspiration from having that incredible meal at the Chibin Nunnery. Just cut it in half. It has a beautiful sweet flavor when you roast it. This is one of my favorite, favorite teas. It's called Lapsang Sushi. Oh. So I'm going to smoke some butter with it, uh, with this tea. Wow. And then char the corn and then use that as kind of like the dressing for the top. So this is called a smoking gun. Mm -hmm. So just cutting the butter to increase the surface area so that the smoke penetrates the butter. Mm. What a great idea, putting the tea in there instead of wood chips. Termite mushrooms, this is something I've come across recently. And they're called termite mushrooms because they grow on termite hills. Luckily they don't taste like termites. Yeah. <laughs> they're quite firm at the end if you just have a feel, a little bit oh, yeah. So I'm just going to peel them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look how fresh that is. Beautiful. And then chestnuts. This evokes memories of my time in, in, in London and UK, in October, November, December, where you have street vendors with uh, drums of charcoal toasting fresh chestnuts. And it just reminds you of Fragrance. kind of like Christmas and Chilli friends and yes. getting together. So I've got a really nice uh, tangy mango vinegar here. I love how you're going to have that acid from the mango because when I think mango, I think tropics, I think yeah. where we are, but then you've got carrot, you've got chestnut, so you, it's it's kind of an unconscious east meets west, but it's not. It is, yeah. It's a very organic It is, way. yeah. It's yeah. about getting the balance right. Shall we taste? Can I serve you? Yes. Lovely, thank you. Bursting with moisture and juice, mm -hmm. especially when you get the wawa choy, it's how it explodes in your mouth. Thank you so much for bringing me out today. Oh, thank you. It's been, it's been great. Really enjoyable day.